Check in with Erica Bertine. Well, a beach day sounds nice, doesn't it? Maybe it tomorrow? does, and it's very summer-like to have those beach days. I feel like it's very typical for the 4th of July. Speaking of Elsa, though, Elsa was the first hurricane of the season. However, it has weakened today back down to a tropical storm. To have a hurricane, you need those sustained winds of 74 to 95 mile per hour winds. As you can see right now, well, those winds are at 65 miles per hour. So some good news for that recovery effort out there. However, it is going to reach Florida early next week. So they got a couple days at least before that storm does make it up there. For us here though, we are seeing those low clouds. Yes, a rinse and repeat cycle here. We are stuck in this weather pattern. We will see those low clouds into the Salinas Valley once again, even as far south as King City, up into Hollister as well. And yes, along the coast, but some good news, they're not sticking around and it is giving us some drizzle. Here's a look at some of those drizzle totals we saw this morning. Pacific Grove saw four hundredths of an inch, three hundredths of an inch, inch for Marina, Carmel by the Sea, two hundredths of an inch, as well as Salinas, and slightly lower totals in Watsonville and Big Sur. We're going to see some more drizzle tonight as well because, yes, like I mentioned, those low clouds once again making their way. They're already here, actually, and they will remain with us through tomorrow morning. But by lunchtime, most of the central coast will see mostly sunny skies, especially for the north part of the bay. We will continue to see some low clouds for the south side of the bay in the Monterey Peninsula as well. But for our inland locations, mostly sunny skies out there before Ah, the return of those low clouds once again. I can't say it enough. Again, we're just stuck in this pattern. Very typical summer pattern for this time of year. It's what we expect. Santa Cruz tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 70, a little warmer in the Santa Cruz Mountains, low to mid 80s out there, 70 for Bonnie Dune, 61 for Davenport. Along the coast, we'll see those 60s and 70s, a little warmer as we head inland, 69 for Salinas, Hollister, 77, San Juan Batista, 70, and 64 for Marina. If you have those plans out, on the Monterey Bay or on the peninsula, you'll definitely want that jacket handy out there. 68 for Monterey, 66 for Carmel by the Sea. Yeah, look at this little chilly for Pacific Grove and Pebble Beach, 64 out there. Our inland locations though, still pretty warm out there. We'll see those 70s on the north side of the Salinas Valley as we head south, 86 for King City. And yes, still seeing some 90s for Bradley and Parkfield out there, 69. Big Sur. Our overnight lows very comfortable. We'll be in those 50s across the central coast. Now we are going to see some patchy drizzle the next couple mornings still. Breezy conditions the next few days along the coast, maybe gusty at times. Look at this. We're not budging as far as our weather pattern goes. We're going to continue to see those low clouds most mornings and they're going to stick around the coast most of the week and our temperature is not budging either. We're going to remain in those mid to upper 60s, maybe even some 70s on the north part of the bay there. For our inland locations, again, very seasonal temperatures here as well. We're gonna remain in those low to mid 80s for most of our inland locations, unless you're in South Monterey County, we'll continue to see those 90s. We do have a little change on Thursday though. We have a little high, little high pressure making its way toward us. And with that, we'll see more clear skies for our inland locations and a warm up. By next weekend, some of those areas could see those triple digits yet again.